Hello, Twin Minds here. Welcome to Alchemist Simulator. I've been wanting to try this out for a little while. It's by the same makers of, of all things, Mech Mechanic Simulator, so obviously a very different style. Um, it, I've recently played a different Alchemist-based game that I'm looking forward to, but it's not out yet, so I want to try this one to see if I can uh, tie myself over. Let's get in. Finally, you're here. Didn't your grandpa write to you that this is an urgent matter? Ah, youngsters these days. What do you mean he didn't give you any specifics? Anyways, you need to start settling in. I will help you at first, but after that, you're on your own. Just do exactly as I say, and hopefully this whole place will not go up in flames. At least, not in the first week. Okay, now to business. While your grandpa's away, you'll be working here and hopefully learn a thing or two about being a true alchemist. Go to the mailbox in the door and get your first contract. Sure, rat person thing. Beginner's luck. Dear grandson, I am terribly sorry that I couldn't meet you in person, but an adventure of a lifetime knocked on my door and I couldn't let it slip through my fingers. I had to leave for London most hastily and I couldn't make it the necessary preparations regarding my lab. So you'll have to work there for a while until I get back. I know that you haven't finished your training yet, but I pulled some strings and got you your license. You don't become a Grandmaster Alchemist without gaining some connections. Please listen to my assistant, she will bring you up to speed. She may have a grumpy character, but her skills will prove to be invaluable to your work. Your first contract will actually be to finish the one I accepted yesterday, but didn't have time to finish. It's very simple, you just need to make a healing potion and hand it to my assistant. She usually takes care of all deliveries. Remember, the lab needs to be working and bringing in a profit, or we may lose both our licenses. Oh, and I love you. P.S. There's a little condition on which you've got your license. You will need to prove to my friend that you are, ca you are a capable alchemist, but he will help you learn the recipes that you don't know yet. From time to time, he you will receive contracts from him with instructions on how specific potions can be crafted. Just complete them and everything should be fine. Um, Sir Inliara? Interesting name. Healing. Three days. Rewards. 150F and 720 or 712 oranges. I shall sign... I'm not going to pretend to read that. Good. It looks like you're able to follow simple instructions. I was expecting worse. Given your limited mental capacity, when, whenever you get a new contract, make a note with the list required potions and their aspects. What do you mean, to make a note where? Get yourself a notebook if you're that stupid, or two, like me. Are you calling yourself doubly stupid? Sure. Uh, Q to see current quest? Yeah, something like that. Ah, Q is your notebook. <laughs> Got it. Um, healing. So we need three hearts and two pluses, and then sunshine. Sure. I'm... Rewards are different than previously listed. Interesting. Sure. Note that some quests may have a bonus in store for you if you complete them quickly enough. You should keep track of the number of bonus days remaining in your notes now that we've so masterfully learned to use. Next order of business, you need to learn to use the almanac. How could you have not ever worked with an almanac before? What were you doing in that academy? Budget cuts. I see. Well, good for you, because here we have one of those authentic almanacs with all the bells and whistles. It's over here in the library. Come and take a look. Um, library. Alright, uh, Q for that. Check the almanac. Oh, it's pretty. Um, kind of terrified what might be in there. Delivery box, wonderful. We have, we have holes specifically for rats. I'm assuming that's the assistant. Um, almanac. Squee. Hello, madam. Squee indeed. Almanac is a very powerful magical tool. Luckily, your grandpa had time to reset it before leaving. So now it's integrated with your aura and will display information directly based on your progress and knowledge. Well, that's handy. Let's go over the different sections of the almanac. The first one is your fame level. Whenever you're fulfilling contracts, you'll become more and more famous. This will allow you to take on more high-end contracts and may even allow us to use some of the equipment that had been disabled when you moved in. What do you mean, what for? So you don't burn down the building. That, that there is some serious hardware, and a friend of mine used to say, you're not prepared. Now go to the next section. It's just a cheat sheet to remind you how the aspects and processing works. You should know that already. At least I hope you do. But still, let's go over it one more time. On the left, you can see the aspects, as you know every alchemical ingredient that contains them. 
These aspects belong to one of four branches, Purity Corruption, Order Chaos, Heat Cold, and Life Death. Each branch consists of two extremes. Purity Corruption has purity on one side and corruption on the other, for example. Each ingredient can contain one or more aspect from different branches. By using various workbenches, you will be manipulating the state of those branches. We will get into more details about how it works when we get to the workbenches. We will also have a larger version of this cheat sheet above the working table. On the right side, you can see a simple scheme to remind you of the order in which you can use different processing types through their respective workbenches. For example, you can cut an ingredient and then grind it in the mortar, but not vice versa. Fair enough. You can wash, cut, grind, fish, juice it like a lemon. And then there's various orders. Interesting. All right, it's gonna take some getting used to, I'm sure. Here you'll be able to upgrade your equipment for the gold that you make while fulfilling contracts. Note that some upgrades will only unlock at certain levels of fame. Higher tier workbenches will allow you to perform more complicated operations. For example, the knife will stay sharp for longer, the mortar will be more effective at strengthening the aspects. Sure. Here you will see a list of all recipes that you have discovered and their required aspects. As you learn new recipes, they will also be shown here. Yes, yes, magic is cool, I know. So healing is the only we want. I only know three types so far, great. This section works just like the recipes, and it seems that you already know all the ingredients. At least you learned something in that academy. Now come here and let's review the process of ordering the required ingredients. It will walk you through the first contract, but this one's a one-time deal. Don't expect that much help in the future. You will need carambola and coal. Alright. Where's here? Hi. Carambola. Bye. And coal. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. You can sell extra potions that you don't that you don't need for any particular contract here for extra cash. The potion on the bottom of the ledger is, is a so-called potion of the day. Depending on the demand among our clients, some potions can be sold for even more. But they change each day, so stay on your toes. There's one more important thing to note. Your grandfather is quite an inventor, and he has a number of patents, which bring in a certain amount of gold every day. This is not much, but it can help in case you have a streak of bad luck. Once you place your order, they will magically appear in the delivery box near the entrance. Just interact with it, and all the delivers will be magically sorted in the garage. In the storage. <laughs> the garage. Alright, so... Ah, hi. Great. Great. Ingredients. Start delivering ingredients. Ingredients are being delivered. Interesting. Looks impressive, I know. Told you we got all the bells and whistles here. But that stuff costs money, so keep moving and start working on that contract now. First, you need to get rid of the unwanted aspects from the carambola. You can cut the whole aspect chain using the cutting planks. Use it to cut out the order chaos chain. You can always see the aspects chains pictured above the table. Alright, I'm assuming I have to go find that table then. So we have the cauldron. Bubbling, bubbling, all full of toil and trouble. Great. Uh, we have our ingredients list here. Our shelf slot, shelf slot. I don't see no carambola, but I'm assuming it's somewhere I need it to be. Um, I love the detail in this place. It's a very nice little alchemist shop. Um, sharpening knife, mortar, pestle, stuff happening, cutting planks. I'm going to assume that all of this will be explained by the grumpy rat. Grumpy rat, are you... Grumpy rat, perfect. Okay. What else do we have over here? We have... A trash can, which looks very much like the cauldron, minus the purple glowy things. Um, we have decorative bits, dryer spots, great. We have a uh, back alley view, lovely. Magical clock, um, upside down chandelier, floating magical chandelier. Alright, ah, here we are. Here we are. Rat, hello. How are you? Are you an ingredient? Hmm, probably not. Lovely. I love this. Okay. So, um, put raw carambola. You're the carambola. Put it on the cutting planks. Cutting planks. Put raw carambola on the cutting planks and activate order chaos chain removal. Order chaos. 
slice. Aha! Good job. Now you have the Carambola with only two aspects, clarity and light. Now you need to get rid of the second unwanted aspect. Oh, I have an idea. Drying process will destroy the weakest aspect. Dry Carambola once to destroy the clarity aspect. How do we know it's the weakest aspect? Is there some sort of listing for that? Um, ah, there we are. This looks to be the strength order. So this is um, clarity versus ignorance. Um, the weakest and then strongest in center, I'm assuming. Since she said that clarity will be destroyed. Okay, that's, that's interpretation. Not terribly clear yet. We'll finish drawing in a while. All right. Not bad. Now you have an ingredient with just clarity on it. Oh, it was the other way around. Got it. You need more potent version of the aspect that is left. Try grinding it into a dust with a mortar. Alright. So instead, I misread that. We got rid of light by drying it. So this is the strongest. Center is the weakest. Understood. Alright, so now we grindy grindy. Now take this ground carambola and put it in the cauldron. As you know, in order to make a potion with a set of aspects, all you need to do is process those ingredients in a manner that will leave only required aspects on them. Put all those ingredients in the cauldron and activate it. I bet in the academy you also had to read mantras and dance around while the potion was brewing, but your grandpa is not that cheap. So we got ourselves a neat new Cauldronator 3000, so the process is much simpler. <laughs> Cauldronator 3000. Gotta love advancements in magic te technology. We are past the hardest part. Now onto the coal. We don't need the fire aspect. Cut it out. You cut it out. Coal. That. Fire. So I'm assuming that's under the heat cold, because obviously. So this is the heat cold, fire's in the middle. Cutting board is working. I like the slicey slicey. Now amplify the potency of the cut coal by grinding in the mortar. Sure thing. Ding. And put it in the cauldron. And then we activate to mix. Now wait for the potion brewing to finish. Told you, Cauldronator 3000 is something. Take this potion and bring it to me. I will handle the delivery and everything else. Aha! I have a potion. Here you are, rat lady. Um... Right-click to submit for quest. Looks like they did teach you something in that academy. You've managed to complete the first contract all on your own. Um, you know, except for the part where you're telling me everything. Great work! Well, this was a long day and we managed to do quite a lot. You must be very tired. What do you mean you're not tired at all? You need to be more careful. Being an alchemist is a very demanding profession. If you stay up for too long, you can lose consciousness. If that happens, the house will magically move you to bed, so nothing critical will happen. Your grandpa was also a workaholic, and we had to think of some way to lessen the number of uh, head bumps he had. Looking at you, I can see we were right to do so. Okay, I've had enough of an aspiring alchemist for one day. Go upstairs, and I don't want to see you until next morning. Keep up the good work, and you might just make it. Well, thanks, grumpy rat lady. I like it so far. So I'm going to go to sleep. We have a magical broom. We have a lovely upstairs. I really like the design of this. I just love the layout. All right. Interesting. Good morning. I've been thinking, and I believe you're ready to start working on your own today. It would be more precise to say that I'm too exhausted from holding your hand from the yesterday's contract, and at this rate, my fear of you burning down the house is lower than my disdain to explain every single little detail of being an alchemist. So congratulations, and if you need me, I'll be in the library preparing fire extinguishers. <laughs> Thanks, Rat Lady. Appreciate it. All right. So that will be it for a, a lovely first day as an alchemist. Uh, I'm probably going to continue this on, so that will be it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.